So guys, uh, last but not least, programming from the remote control. We have a couple of remote controls, one channel, two channel, six channel. Um, to program these remote controls is always the same way. Uh, let me tell about this. You have first to push the button S2, only click clack, then you have to push the button number four on the little one or the, on the one channel one time and you have to look to the LED to the red LED with the symbol remote control and these symbol have to flash okay also S2 on the controller S4 on the remote control watch is the lamp flashing and then you start it when the lamp is flashing, then you push the button one on the remote control. You will hear clicking the relays and then you push the button number three. You will hear the relays and then after that, the remote control is learned to the controller. The two channel is a little bit different. You have to open the battery compartment. In the battery compartment, you will find a little switch is almost red dark red um, here is first push the button number two from the controller then the red button and then you push the up on on the top and down on the on the bottom you will hear also the relays when you hear the relays the reboot control is learned so i would say let's start I push the button number two on the controller, number four on the remote control. I watch to the LED. First, I have to switch on the controller. <laughs> so, <laughs> could be it's now a little bit more easy. I push the button S2 on the controller, click clack, then the number four on the remote control. I watch to the LED goes off. I do it again, S2, four, now it is flashing, I push the button one. You can hear the delays, all right, and then three. So, the remote control is learned to the controller. The next remote control, we can, we can learn so many remote control, what do you want? So, we take the another one, the two channel. First, we select the channel, one or a two. So this is the first controller, we, we select the number one, then you push this button, it goes to the two, again, then both on, and then I go back to the number one. So I push the button S2 on the controller, I push the little red, so the red LED is on, push again, no, it goes off, push again, S2 little button no again oh it's flashing done so we have learned both remote control the little one and the two channel the six channel is, is the same way like the two channel. You first you select the lift and then you learn this number to the lift. Um, you can find all this stuff on this page for the little one. Describe what I did. And on the next page, you will see the big one with the battery compartment with a little switch and the function from all the push button. Um, one thing, when you do something wrong, and, um, you, you, you took the wrong number or whatever, then you can erase the memory. This is pretty easy. You push the button S2 again and you hold it. The red light will go on. It takes a little time. The lamp goes off. And the memory is erased when I push the button again. The memory is empty. You have, you can now uh, 
new LAN, all your remote controls in what do you want. And yeah, it's pretty easy guys, yeah?